So today, we're going to have a look at how to install a tap and what spanners um, you need to have or use. So there's our old tap, there's our new tap, and there's our selection of spanners. I'm going to get that off, connect onto there. Don't forget to turn your water off. Tap. It's going to go on to there obviously, you, you, you can see what, how you go, that's better, what's going to happen. So, these are called box spanners, okay, and we have the knot here, so for instance, See, it's, it's too small, it just falls straight through. This isn't a bad one, but I don't think it'll do it. It gradually gets up. That was that came free with a tap. That was a good piece of kit. So we've got to obviously screw that on and find. Different sizes, okay. Got our additional basin spanner, which you can just interchange that on the other side. That's the old fashioned tap type. They are about £40 now. And then you can buy these selection of things. So, still got more things in there. You see that goes. See, that's what it goes. That's what it does. So what I'm going to make this tap up. Just screw these into here, hand tight. Put some um, silicone grease on here. Otherwise, it'll jam up. It's an old one. It does the job. You won't probably won't have any of that. So we have our winner. Okay. That's tightening it. There you go. Still tightening it. They're not all as easy as this. turn the water off now do this for a reason take that off first because if it won't come off you don't want to you don't want to do these knots first do you so that's the hardest part so Open the taps. No, 
Just cool. going to open the taps upstairs, okay? Yeah, okay. Can you hear the noise in the toilet? This will do. Looks too hard. No water coming out. Go. Totally stop now. I'll do me. So we'll undo our nuts and whip it off. I'll stop filming because I can't do that one handed. Right, let's see if we can undo these, see what they're like. Towel, pull that out of the bottom when the water comes out. Do it hand tight now. I'll pull the other one next. So, yeah, happy days. So this is when we get wet. But well, might not get wet. There'll be a bit in there. Are we still filming? No. Told you. Told you. Lift that out. We'll give that a clean up now. So we've greased this up. We've got our screw there, it's not always Phillips. Hole and the screw have got a beat up. Um, I can't do this one handed. So we're on. And um, yeah, it whizzes round great, that's all I'm going to say. Whee! Can't film that, can we? Right, we'll get that in there now. A red, it's a red, red hose. And um, Turn it round like that. Tempting to get the old grips on. But got another one to do. I think you get the gist. There's the other one. Stabilise if you do that that way so I can get underneath it. So we've got these now. All right, yes, we've got our, got our tails. Can you see? I'm gonna get these on. We'll worry about these in a minute. But whether I can film that, I really don't know. So let's clear this water out first. My phone getting wet, do I? It's a total mystery, I don't know if it'll do it. Let's have a look. Do 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 dee dee. So. It's a, a shot in the dark, this. I really don't know what it's filming, if it's all anything. So, you know, to edit it out, I suppose. Right, let's put that on first. That backwash it. And this. And now we're not. We'll put that on hand tight. I'm gonna check the video because it's it. Chops it. Yeah. So it 
Hopefully you can see that. So we're going to pull that up hand tight and then we'll get our spanner on it. Supposed to be there. There we are. So we're hand tight. Gonna make sure it's straight. It's not. It's not like this gradually. Okay. So I'll slip my spanner now. Perhaps it's this one. I don't know really. Too small. Bigger. It's blocks from the last job. We'll have to get that out. Bear with. I can see he's tightening it so. See if we can set this little angle. You stay there for a minute. Which you don't always do. Let's see if we can angle that. Not sure is the answer. Right. I'm just going to tweak it all around with this. So what we're doing is we're tightening it up. Okay, we're checking we're in the right location, which I'm happy with that. I'm going to do the final nip, if I, if I might not need anything anyway. I'll do it now in one minute. So the plan, I'm going to put these valves on, I've got a connector anyway, ISO valve. You can see it's short on the, the olive, because it's a really old fashioned fitting. So well, the plan is to do that. And then we'll do bend it round like that. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Ideally, you could go lower, but I'll take the shelf out, possibly disturb this trap, cause myself a load of hassle and money. So we're not going to do that. So get our olive, olive splitter on. These are sixty quid. You're not going to have one of these. <coughs> Clacky. There we go. So it splits it and uh, let me get that knot up. That means we can start again. Let's see if we can do it again and go. So that, that's what it is. An olive splitter, best thing I ever bought. I used to hacksaw them off for hours on end. Um, whereas now. Two, three. Oh, it's quite tough for me, left hand. <coughs> Olive splitter. Best thing I've ever bought. So, put this on. The one handed plumber. That's not going to go on that. I'll start filming just one moment. Try and jam this in. <laughs> oh, the joys. Right. Stay there. Oops. Stay there. Oh, we're better. Right. So, nut goes on. Olive goes on. Look at this. Flow rate, you don't want to go in the other way, do you? Let's go in that way. Get the hand tighten it up. I've already done that one. Hand tight. So, right. Let's look at this one. So, I'm going to grab that with this, see it? You notice I'm not grabbing the thread. <laughs> All right, in the middle of the valve, and I'm not touching the bit. <laughs> 
turn it on and off with because it's an isolating valve it'll probably leak if you get your grips around there or do something that's going to leak so. turn these isolated valves off and continue working but I don't need to so if the customer say they wanted some you need the water back on you could do so this goes on now that can tighter okay then this one remember it's a tap exchange you don't like to pay too much so we don't like to uh, alter too much pipe work it's under no pressure that you don't want to kink it like a hose pipe. So we're on here. Do, do, do. Let's get the old grips on there. And tighten it like that. Okay. And tighten that up and then at the end I'll hold that and give it a quick nip. Like that. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the uh, rest of the water on the house, but we'll turn this off for now. So if we have a problem, it's not, it's not the end of the world. So, I'm going to run upstairs now because we're going to tap open. Blast any dirt out of the pipe. So I'm going to run upstairs and turn this tap off, okay? Okay. Blocked the overflow. <laughs> Just saying. No. Right, being and turn that off. So let's have a look what's happening in here. Which is nothing at the moment. So. Okay. Over on the tap. Run the tap, make sure you put the hot to the hot and the cold to the cold. So you can only tell I feel in this. This one's red, this one's red, and if the hot's on this side, matches up, marries up. So that's it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel. Cheers, guys. Um, I'll show you this nut in a minute that, that I couldn't get out. So these spanners, that's what we've jammed inside, not even. So it should be. So we just about salvaged that. I'm talking about salvaging this. Cheers.